Elimination. Easy, right? I hope you guys find it easy. That's a zero right there. Um, you add that. Get 8x equals 2. Add those. You get 8 positive. Divide by 8. Divide by 8. You get x equals to 1. So it meets at 1 and first one's x, second one's y. Okay. Um, and then you got, you're going to save the 2x plus 5y equals to 17. doesn't matter which one you say. x is 1, though. You put 1 in where x is. That's what it says there. x is 1. Um, you get 2 plus 5y equals 17. You're going to solve for this y right here. Minus 2, minus 2, get 15 equals to 5y, divide by 5, divide by 5, y is 3. That's your answer there. Okay, the, um, that's the same, so let's go ahead and multiply this top one by a negative one distribute negative one to all of them get negative 2x minus 18y equals to positive 9 see this is better okay that's 2x i like this one better that's zero we eliminate it that's um negative 18 Divide by 2, x equals to negative 9, so negative 9, comma, and um, 2x plus 17 equals to negative 9 is the one I'm saving. And put x negative 9, that means wherever x is, um, there's the x. I'm going to put negative 9 there. It's negative 18 plus 17. Y hmm, plus 18y. 18y. Um, equals to negative 9. Add 18. Add 18. It's 9 there. 18y equals that, divide by 18, y equals to 1 half, right there. Number 6, your school, school sold this many tickets, so 456 tickets for school play, it equals to that, that's the total. Adult tickets cost this much, so 350, so we'll leave that for X um, times this, because each ticket costs that much for adults. A student ticket, we'll leave it Y, it costs a dollar each, so one dollar. Total ticket sale is this much, total is equal to, to a thousand one hundred thirty one dollars. So we put the dollar together, so 350 uh, x plus 1y equals to, because that's one dollar also. So this other equation is x plus y equals to that. Okay, so you got this equation of x plus y equals to 456 and 3.5x plus a y equal to 1,131. I'm going to multiply this by a negative 1. I get negative x minus a y equals to a negative 4, 5, 6. Okay?
get you zero there, 2.5x here equals to 7, 6, divide by 2.5, use your calculator. And I will Google calculator on my computer to find out what it is. Um, 675 divided by 2.5 is 270. 270. X represents, ooh, they want you to use A equal to adult tickets, A, and S is student tickets, S. So it must be adult tickets. A and S. So X is adult tickets. It should be A and S. Anyways, I'll go back. This is A. Adult tickets um, sold 270 adult tickets. Um, so this is A writing the system of equation, so A plus S, and this is A and S right there. Okay, change that, and let's change to A, change to A. Okay, so 270 adult tickets. We're going to save A plus S equals to 456. A is 270 plus S, 456. Subtract 270. Oh, wait, I don't need to borrow there. Where's the rewind button? I just get a 6 here. I need to borrow here. 100 student tickets, 76 student tickets. Sold. Okay, elimination, I would multiply. But by four, I get 12x minus 40y. Oh, that's just like, uh, just like one of these we did in class. This one. I'm so I'm not gonna do that one. We did that one in class. Okay, guys. You guys, just look back up there. I don't know why I repeat it, but anyways, I would multiply this by five. This I multiply by seven, I'd rather multiply by five. Five is easier for me. So I get five X minus 15 Y equals to 100. And this is, stays the same. Seven X plus 15 Y equals to 32. 12 X equals to 132 divide by 12 let me make sure I did this right okay hmm. one thirty two 
divide by 12. Let's see if it can be divided evenly. No. 11. Yes. X is 11. So X is 11. We need to find Y. I'm taking the X minus 3Y equals to 20. Put 11 in here. minus 11 divide by negative 3 y equals to a positive 3 here okay i would make this 24 cuz i only need to multiply it one time this I have to multiply twice. I don't want to do that. Um, I can make this a negative 24 by multiplying by negative 4. So I got negative 24x plus 12y equals to a positive 24k to 2, 144. Mm -hmm. And then I would... Um, leave this all the same so 24x plus 2y equals to 52 0 there 14y equals to 196 divide by 14 196 divide by 14 196 divide by 14 we get 14. Y is 14. So Y is the second one. To find X, I'm going to use the top one. Ah, uh, or this one. It doesn't matter. 6X minus 3Y equals negative 36. I just don't like all that negative. Y is 14. And that's 52. Actually, it's 42. Add 42. it right. Jeez. Okay. All right. Fourteen. Nope. It's not fourteen. Six. Yep, six. Divide by six is one. I want to get rid of this because I only need to multiply it once, not twice. That's a positive 28 there, 4, negative 4 times 7. Oh, then we bring down this down. Two X plus four Y plus to eight. Thirty-six. 
divide by eight, negative 18. negative 2. Oops, wrong way to do this. Negative 2, we need to find the y. 2x plus 4y equal to 8. Goes in x here. Negative 4 plus 4y goes to 8, add 4, 12 equals to 4y, divide by 4, y equals 